with a population of approximately 1.4 million people here in Trinidad and Tobago, many are suffering in different corners of the country. This is why at 9 p.m. every night, we have a prayer for the nation. Hello friends, special good night to all of you. Now is 9.02, once again, we are here in this channel of prayer on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. I have here with me my Bible, and I would like to read to you this Bible verse. The Bible says here in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23. It says here, But this is what I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God and you shall be my people. Friends, what we understand here is that in order for God to be your God, in order for you to be God's people, you have to obey his voice. You have to follow his direction. And when we're talking about to obey God's voice, it brings us to the commandments that he have been said. The first commandment, you shall love your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your soul, isn't it? And also, he said, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. We have been praying here on behalf of the country. However, if you pay evil with evil, if you keep holding something in your heart against someone or wish bad things to somebody, how can you expect God to bless your country and also your life? We are going to pray for the nation. However, each one of us, we must be, we must do our part. In order for God to be the God of Trinidad and Tobago, and in order for Trinidadians and Tobagonians to be God's people, we must to follow his voice. We must to follow his direction. While that I'm going to pray for the country, I would like to ask God to bless your family as well. Please stand up, all of you. Let us pray. Let us ask God, the God of the Bible, to bless our nation. Our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, my God, you are our God. You are my God. And I ask you, Father, listen to our prayer. Any change, reverse the situation that we have been going through here in Trinidad and Tobago. Every single day, Lord, a mother lost her son, Someone, my Lord, uh, killed her son, her daughter, her family members. We have been seeing, my Lord, on the newspaper, people losing their lives for nothing. Oh, my Lord, stop with the murder, stop with the crime, the violence. My Lord, reveal yourself here to Trinidad and Tobago. Although the authorities of this nation, they have been trying their best, we understand, Lord, that only you have the power to stop with this curse, to stop with this evil. Oh, my Lord, bless our nation from the four corners of Trinidad and Tobago. Bless our country, bring peace, bring joy. Above all, bring salvation. My Lord, I pray on behalf of the elderly of our nation and also on behalf of all the youths. My God, change their minds, their hearts. My Lord, let the youths of Trinidad and Tobago to know you. Bring salvation to them. My God, I surrender their lives into your mighty hands. Bless this person's life. Bless this person's family. Consecrate and bless their glass with water for when they drink they will be able to receive your power in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and whoever believes say amen do you believe friend i am sure that if god is your god my friend 
if he go, if he, we are God's people, by obeying his voice, for sure, he will bless you, okay? Tonight at midnight, we are going to be back here and praying for your family. We are in this week that we are going to be determining a total change upon our family. And give it to you another direction. What you must to do in order for you to see salvation upon your house. Amen? May the spirit of the living God bless you. Have yourself a blessed and a wonderful night. Bye-bye. I was growing into a man, so I wanted to be more independent with my finances and more independent with my financial life. So I started to look for a job and this time I was praying, doing my best to try and find a job, but nothing was happening. Because this happened quite a long time, it caused me to be really revolted and really angry because the situation went on for ages because I was applying for so many jobs, going for interviews and nothing. I would literally never um, get the job. So when the campaign came along, and I heard people's testimonies about the campaign, I was really directed towards it. So what I did was I spoke to the pastor at the time, did all my research about the campaign because I wanted to go in it with my all, with my 100%. So um, around the time when pastor was speaking about the sacrifice and what to do to give your all in the campaign. I decided that I was gonna sell a lot of my clothes. At the time I had an iPhone as well, and I sold the iPhone, which was really difficult for me because that was the only phone that I had. Not only that, I decided that I was going to pray more because I was already praying and I wasn't getting any results. So I decided to pray more, do things differently. I started to fast, so I would, fast for many hours, I would wake up in the middle of the night, I would seek God, cry out and pray. When the day of the campaign came, I gave my all. Um, I didn't think twice about it because of the situation that I was going through. No one else was going through this situation apart from me. So it was me and God alone in this battle and I really, really wanted it. Even during the campaign, um, towards it, I had many negative thoughts, many doubts saying, oh, give up, um, oh, it's not worth it. It's, the situation is not going to change and that happened over the course of the campaign but I would pray and fight against these things even when I sold my iPhone my family was asking why did I sell the iPhone they didn't understand when I left my sacrifice on the altar and I left it there and then I knew that I would receive my results so so that was on the Sunday and then on the Monday I continued to look for a job and really pray and see what doors would open for me. So I continued to look for a job, um, prepared my CV, sent out my applications and then on the Tuesday um, I started getting responses back already for different jobs that I was um, going to. So at the time what I had studied for is I did childcare and I did teaching and that's the sort of jobs that I was looking for. So I had interviews in different schools and I got the job. So I had different jobs that I could choose from. And at the time I chose, I chose the specific job that I wanted. And ever since that day, which I laid my sacrifice on the altar, my financial life has been completely different. What I would say, um, if someone's going to go in the campaign to ignore the doubts, to really go 100%, give your all. When you know in mind of what you want to achieve, nothing or no one's gonna stop in your way of achieving it. So if God asks you to do something, cause with my sacrifice, like for example, the iPhone, it was extremely difficult, but when God is really asking you to do something, just give 100% in what you're doing and know that God will come through. That's the advice that I would say.